Okay, y'all. We back with a reaction video. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. See me like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's do or die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gonna run my back. I had a long day. She say, baby, I ain't gonna lead you down the wrong way. Okay. So, for one, it's May the night, and it wouldn't be right without my coffee and the Virgo cup. <laughs> Birthday girl, who this? Virgo season, who this? Okay. So, um, check it. Let me gather myself. Oh, and the titties is tittying in this video, so. If y'all hear my neighbors, I already went out there and cussed them out and told them to shut the fuck up. But if they listen... They listen. If they don't, I'm going to just go back out with that cussing. So, nothing. Nothing new. Um, this, this video pissed me off to the highest level of pissivity. <sighs> Disclaimer. Gather yourself now. There is, they probably gonna age restrict my shit and I'm gonna be mad as hell because they fuck up my views when they do that. But I got this video from a DL Hughley page and I saw it and I was just like, I know you motherfucking lying. I know you motherfucking me lying. I'm so disappointed. I, I'm so disappointed. I'm gonna play the clip. And then explain to y'all why I'm disappointed, and I'm pretty sure y'all gonna agree. Okay, I gotta make sure I'm recording first. Who oh, Jesus? Okay, you with me? All right. <laughs> You know what? I just, I, I, oh Lord. <sighs> Baby, when I saw that video, when, when I saw that video, oh, when I tell y'all, when I tell y'all my level of piss, like I could feel the the blood boiling in my system when I seen that shit, I immediately sent it to Christian and said, I gotta react. I gotta react. Who in the hell is training y'all? Did you really just sucker punch the shit out of a, they say it's a little girl, I don't know how old she is, it don't matter. Did you really just sucker punch the shit out of a little girl that's this fucking big? You hit her with a motherfucking Muhammad Ali like that was the biggest nigga you ever seen in your life. Like they was 500 pounds and 7 feet tall. Ain't no way in it. You put all your strength in that? Did you see the way she flew back? My nigga, is you serious right now? You know what? Y'all already know how I feel about cops. Y'all already know how I feel about cops, especially black cops. Like, it's always hard for me because of my uncle. But it's motherfuckers like this that make my uncle look bad. I expect shit like that from white cops. But for it to be a brother? Are you motherfucking kidding me? For it to be a black officer is the most disgusting, disappointing shit I have ever fucking seen. 
because there are rare ones like my uncle who do not take that shit from no fucking body. He will curse a white person, whether it's an officer, I don't give a fuck if it's a constable, a motherfucking governor, he do not play that shit. But them boys in blue, the black cops, y'all piss me off. Because y'all put that blue shit before the black shit. And you was black first. Fuck that. Do not forget where you came from. Do not forget how you were raised. Do not forget the race that you were born. So you gonna do the same shit they out here doing? So you gonna do the same shit that the white cops is out here doing to us? And he know he fucked up. That's why I said pay attention to his face. You could see the sheer fuck up in his face. Because he knew in that motherfucking moment he fucked up. He knew he fucked up. Like his face said, I fucked up. I shouldn't have done that. You did not have to hit her like that. I don't give a fuck if she was swinging on you. I don't give a good god damn. That girl is this big. You could have easily grabbed her, and if you was going to arrest her, which you did, which I'm still trying to figure out why the fuck you did that, you could have easily handled that a whole different way. I'm bigger than her. Come on, now. Now, I don't know if, it, if that was her man or what. First of all, you already fucking with the black brother. Then you got the black sister on the steps crying. It's a lot of cops there and shit. So, I don't know. I can't make any assumptions, but I'm pretty sure whatever the fuck it is was something major. But then again, they show up in motherfucking armies anyway if you run a motherfucking stop sign. So, ain't no telling. But my good sis, the man had to have been close to her for her to run up like that. Because with me, I will defend a black brethren or sister in a situation like this, but not with cops. I will not, I will admit that I'm not fucking with the cops. Girl, why is you lying? You know damn well you lying. You done went up against the cops before. Done been to jail for it. You are fucking lying. Yes, you will. Okay, you done the same shit. Had that been your best friend, your nigga, your cousin, your mama, all that. You fucks with cops. You choose violence regardless. So quit lying to yourself and these people that's watching this video. Don't believe shit I just said. Because I value my life too motherfucking much. First of all, what you don't want to do is mess with a chief deputy's niece. Because my uncle is crazy as hell. If anything happened to me, it's going to be an issue. But I do not fuck with cops. Because of shit like that. But baby, when you down for the motherfucking cause, when that's your loved one, your man, your brother, whatever, then you going to... What, what's going on? What's going on? Like... Again, I don't care if she did hit you because they try to pull that old self-defense shit, assault on the officer bullshit. Fuck that. You could have easily grabbed her and put her in handcuffs. It's that simple. You didn't have to punch her like she was a grown fucking man. That is a little girl. And by little, I mean skinny. Again, I don't know how old she is, but it don't fucking matter. That pissed me off more than when the white officer put his knee in the back of that black little girl at the swimming pool. I know y'all remember that video. What the fuck in your mind told you I'm finna punch the shit out of her? She just hit me. And I'm pretty sure that hit ain't hurt now fucking bit. You a man and you got on that goddamn uniform with that fucking armor. What in your right mind said, I'm finna punch the shit out of her, like sucker punch, like Muhammad Ali punch, like knock her out punch, like she gonna have a black eye and busted lip punch, like I'm finna fuck her nose up punch. Like what the fuck in your mind said that? Did you even think? He didn't even think before he did it. It was impulse because the fact, the look on his face afterwards and he knows people recording. 
He was putting her in hand because he knew the black community was done with his motherfucking ass. You have officially lost your African-American card. You might as well go ahead and get your skin bleached and turn into one of them because you are not allowed to be black any longer. And just like how the white officers need to go to jail and there needs to be some justice, the same rule fucking applies. I don't give a damn if you black or not. They need to throw your ass in jail and lock away the motherfucking key. Because that was unnecessary force. Literally. Unnecessary. For you to punch that girl like that. And then had the nerve to pick her up and put her in handcuffs. You ain't even give her a minute to gather her motherfucking face. You can see her shit turning red. Come on. Bro, if you look at the video, you can literally see her bleeding. Like, her face is fucked up. He hit her hard as shit. And that is motherfucking concrete. That is a sidewalk. That is concrete. And she fell on her fucking head. So she probably got a concussion. She fell back hard as hell. Ain't no way she ain't got no concussion. She gonna need probably damn near surgery. That's how hard you is. She flew to the ground. She didn't fall. She flew. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell. I <laughs> Baby, when I tell you I'm suing the whole fucking police department, the city, I'm finna sue like hell. Because for one, I ain't the one getting arrested. I didn't commit the crime. Whatever the crime is, I didn't commit it. I came in from the side, and she went. She looked like she went to go pick up his stuff or figure out what was going on. So you are not really a part of the crime. The only crime they can even try to stick on you is the bullshit assault of a police officer because if you even tap a police officer that's assault on a police officer that's the only bullshit they can pull but after that punch especially after after what happened to George Floyd baby I will sue the pants off they motherfucking ass nah nigga you gonna have to pay for this you gonna have to pay. You gonna have to pay me for this. Medical bills, everything. I wanna be set up for life. It ain't no way in hell. I want all the coin. And I want this nigga on every motherfucking poster, social media, YouTube, all that. So motherfuckers know when they see him, nigga, you a bitch. You lucky. Don't get caught in plain clothes. Don't don't get caught in plain clothes. Cause cause you you absolutely the fuck done for. My bad, that was getting on my damn nerves. But you you done for. Like I <sighs> Y'all that made me so mad. That made me so fucking mad. And again, the part that pisses me off the most is that it was a brother. It was a black officer that did it. Come on now. It would have been a problem if it was a white officer. Because that's a problem. That's some shit that's going on that we speaking about. Well, I know I speak about it and other people speak about it. That shit we trying to bring awareness to. But for you to be black and do some shit like that. Nigga, what side you on? You can't be serious right now. Man, you know what? I'm sick of I'm sick of it. We gon' we gonna get into another reaction video. I just I had to say something. I had if I see, see something, say something. I had to say something. It wasn't no way in motherfucking me hell I was gonna let that shit slide. It wasn't no way. It wasn't no way. As soon as I seen it, I was like, oh hell fuck no. Hell fuck no. I'm not letting that shit slide at all. You have got to be called out. And like I said, they gon' age restrict my shit because it's too much violence. Must be 18 or older. No, what's too much fucking violence is what he did. Y'all sitting here trying to block shit on people's channel 
and age restricted and copyrighted and got a problem with it. But really what it is is y'all don't want to bring awareness to motherfucking situations. You know what? I'm not even finna go there. <laughs> I'm not even finna go there. That's a whole nother rant. That's a whole nother rant. I'm gonna have to do a traffic and chat or couch conversation about that because I'm sick of YouTube. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sick of YouTube, but I am dedicated to this channel because it's my platform. And I speak on shit like this. Amongst other things. But I speak on shit like this. And you not finna shut me up. Anyway, I'm done. We on to the next reaction video. Um, all I can say is, uh, my city crazy. And I'ma leave it at that. Again, excuse my neighbors. <laughs> we live in the hood, okay? That's a part of it. All right? Okay, until next time. Bye.